Hello, this is Anagod here, coming in with another Vigen Battle Royale video. And I've got a quick announcement to make. Uh, I've started a battle pad. I'm going to be spreading my Vigen story with the Vigen origin story. You probably will have only fight like one monster in them. Mostly just Godzilla. It'll probably be like uh, maybe 13 chapters long, I guess. That, that seems like a right amount. 13 chapters long, it's gonna be like a real short story. Well, that's basically like a fan film, but it's gonna be a long chapter. And anyway, that out of the way, let's get into the intro. In this series, I will break down the entirety of Viagen. No. I'll not that. I'll have Viagen fight other monsters. Whether it be my creations or fan made creations from people that I know or I don't know, anything. If you want your kaiju to be collected in this fan series that I'm doing a Viagen Battle Royale DM me on Twitter or DM me on Discord or whatever, all the social media stuff. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. First, let's start with. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna do history and abilities for these kaiju's in my previous video, because I mostly said that for Kujira because you already know his history if you're not watching Kenshin Chaos or, or the Kenshin or Wrath of the Hybrid. But anyway, I don't think we need to get into this. But basically, but basically, Viagen wakes up. But basically, to sum up what um, what happened in the previous episode, Kuju lost, Viagen won, and Viagen went back to his sleep after being interrupted by Kuju. But then he senses some, and that what leads into this episode. Well, he senses a new presence somewhere in the woods, somewhere in, let's say, Alaska, because it, that sounds accurate, somewhere in Alaska, I guess, why not? He goes to Alaska to encounter Winsala, when he faces... But before we get into Wintawa, let's go over his abilities. Oh, not his abilities, his history. Wintawa is basically a fan created kaiju created by uh, God's Weirdo Weirdo. It was created by him on Wattpad. So I will try to sum up his history from what I read like a couple minutes ago. Maybe like a 30 minutes ago. But I will try to sum up. Basically, Wintawa was created by an actual real life folklore creature which I actually believe does exist don't judge me of a Wintour win window which is basically like a giant deer humanoid cryptid thingy it's basically described as being like deer part deer part humanoid cryptid creature that's what it's usually described as but basically a window went into a house killed its wife and then was found by scientists scientists found it after it being this after it killing its wife and then it was captured after it being captured 
and after it being captured, it was uh, taken by it was captured by scientists to use for gen modifications of Godzilla flesh that they found off Godzilla. I'm not sure how they got the Godzilla flesh, but eh. I'm not really sure how. I think they just tore off a piece of Godzilla's flesh that they find somewhere, I don't know, from a previous attack of Godzilla. And when Taro was found. And when Taro was born. Basically, when Taro, this window creature refused to eat all the meat. So the scientists hooked him up to a freaking electric <laughs> Jesus this got brutal. Hooked him up to a freaking electric chair. Shot them until they basically forced him to eat the guts of the flesh. He ate human flesh first, so I'm guessing he has some human DNA in him. And then finally ate the guts of the flesh. And then he mutated into a giant beast. And I'm pretty sure he killed all the scientists in there. Yeah. And that's where our story begins. And I believe chapter one, or I can't remember how it went, but I think he devours a hunter, and then we get introduced to our main killer, Isabella, which I'm assuming is going to be our main character throughout the whole story. I'm assuming that's going to be our main character throughout the whole story is uh, Isabella, who actually, um, who I'm assuming is like a high school student or a college student or whatever. I'm not really sure who Isabella is. I think I'm assuming she's a high school high school or college student who managed to wander in the woods who's just living her nomi day life and then a scientist lady finds the remains looks through files about Wintal about when tall and then I think in like either chapter 2 or no not chapter 2 I think chapter I'm not sure if it's chapter 2 or chapter 3 I think it's no chapter 4 where I think it's chapter 4 where I think yeah I can't remember exactly what happened but I think Chapter 2 is basically the introduction of Isabella. Chapter 3 is basically. No. Chapter 1 is basically describing the history between the monsters and the war and introducing Isabella and her characters. Chapter 2 is basically showing Wintara's Win rage. Chapter 3 is. showing what happened. Showing some attacks from Mental. I believe chapter 4 Mental. I think, yeah. Chapter 4 is basically Mental fighting a Titan Boa, a giant snake. I'm assuming it's a Titan Boa. I'm assuming that's what it is. A giant snake, which is basically a Titan Boa. Mental, base, and Isabella is running in the woods. That part I do remember. When Isabella is running in the woods of where Wintaro was hiding. Oh, yeah, Wintaro and Wintaro. Wintaro? I'm calling it Wintaro or Wendigo. Wintaro? 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 I think it's Wintaro? Wintaro? I'm assuming it's Wintura. I'm assuming it's that. But basically, Wintura basically kills his giant snake, and as a, and as he eats his snake, he stares out at Isabella, and Isabella and Isabella's accepting her doom, ready to get killed by this giant beast, and then Wintura decides to spare her. Okay. I'm not sure if she gets killed in the last chapter. In the next chapter, I'm assuming she didn't. 
But I did reach up to 5 inch. Spoiler alert, she didn't get killed. Uh, apparently, until. Um, I'm assuming it's basically like the same thing that happened with Iris and the lady who had the, the Iris Tagami thingy. I forgot her name. I, I forgot the freaking name. You, you know who I'm talking about. The, the high school girl who has a Yokotama, the Iris Yokotama honor and has a connection with Iris and Revenge of Iris. I, I forgot her name. If someone knows her name, please bring it up in the comments. Anyway. I'm assuming that's what's happening between Isabella and Mentello, but that's evil and diabolical. I'm assuming Wintel's not gonna be like a man fetch killing machine like freaking Windowell, but but a Windowell is basically something that eats flesh, kills things, kills a lot of things. I'm surprised it didn't kill Isabella. So I'm kinda interested to see how this goes. I don't know. Basically, in this chap in chapter five, I'm pretty sure Wintel fights a new monster in the city somewhere in Canada. I'm not sure what city. I think it was. I think this takes place in Japan. I think. I'm not really sure. They don't really give a setting of what. I don't think Godzilla really gives a setting. I don't blame him. I'm just assuming it takes place in the mountains somewhere, where it's cold in the mountains because. I'm assuming he likes cold weather, so he's gonna be in an environment where it's cold. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's in the mountains where it's snowing a lot. So I'm assuming like, let's say uh, somewhere in the mountains in Japan, because I'm assuming it snows a lot there. Yeah, Imatora basically didn't eat Isabella, but fought another monster called Komodo. Komodo, 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 na, Komodo, Komodo, na, Komodo, Komodo Dan. I think that's his name, Komodo Dan, which is basically like a giant Komodo dragon. Basically, like Komodo dress, but a lot less Zilla looking. It's basically a cool looking dragon, a Komodo dragon, which gets into a fight with Mintel, and Mintel beats it. Pretty quickly. Well, get to physical fight and they flap each other, they fight both, change blows, and when Taro. When Tira. When Tira. Okay, I'm just gonna call this monster Winty. Winty. Or. Wendigo. Or. Wendigo Godzilla. I'm gonna call it Wendigo because that's easier to pronounce and that's what this thing was made of. A Wendigo, so I'm just gonna call it Wendigo. So Wendigo basically eats, freaking destroys the freaking Komodo Dragon by using its ice breath and then blowing it up with its atomic breath. I think. Yeah. So basically, well, actually, I think he absorbs. I think in the previous chapter he absorbed the Titan Ball's DNA, so now he has the abilities of a snake. But does not really use eyes in the chapter, and then he eats. I think he bites some of the freaking Komodo dragons DNA. I'm not sure. I probably need to read it again. <laughs> but anyway, I'm pretty sure he bites the Komodo dragon. Godzilla will correct me if I'm wrong. But basically, Komodo when Windigo basically kills the Kwanodon by uh, killing it. Basically freezing it and then blowing it up with its time breath. And that's the end of chapter 5. There is no chapter 6. It's still ongoing. So yeah. I'm guessing this is one of his newer stories. So yeah. I'm assuming it's going to come out late. I'm probably by the end of this month. I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's working on it, so it might come out this month or next month. I'm excited for it. I might actually look up 
heard of other stories because it, it was really interesting. I can't remember much what happened, but basically when I was I probably did like a bad job reading trying to sum it up. So because of the real I did read it. I just did a really bad job with summing that up. Basically even I was like a giant win to go because of a hybrid. Who encounters Isabella and fights a Titan Boa and Komodogon and there's some scientists looking for Wintoa to use him as a weapon to fight Godzilla, I think. That's what I'm assuming the story's leading up to. I don't know. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into abilities. I got my phone right here because I am not going to remember any of these abilities. Because holy shit, he's got tons of abilities and physical. He's got tons of abilities. Like, when I mean by tons, I mean tons of abilities. He's got a shit ton of abilities. And when I mean by a shit ton, he has a shit ton of abilities. Good thing he treated me the freaking. Good thing God's. Thank you, God's little leader, for treating the abilities. Thank you. <laughs> Because for some reason Wallpad's not working on my phone. I don't know why. Okay. Man, this is going to be like a 20 minute video. This is going to be supposed to be like 10 minutes. Jesus. What? Well, God damn it. So I'm gonna try to. Here's an atomic breath, so basically, like as those on breath. Here's an ice breath. It's basically ice breath. Please, speed and agility. I'm assuming he can. Let's actually read it. Atomic breath can fire a white atomic breath out of his mouth. At the same level as Godzilla's atomic breath, he has an ice breath, which is powerful ice breath, so he can exhaust his feet and everything inside. He's got he's very fast and agile for his size. I'm pretty sure he's pretty big when full size. I'm not sure how he is like normal size. I don't think Godzilla really actually gave a size for that yet. I'm pretty sure at full size, he he's basically like Jaguar and can go sizes can go to any size he wants. Oh yeah. I think I skipped that. Physical strength. He's got he's pretty strong. He's basically strong enough. To lift entire enemies and twist the body, slice them in half, twist the body part, break the bones break and crush their bones. He's able to carry heavy objects and even kaiju. Physical capabilities. He's a brutal fire right on his hands and punch and grabs and shringles. Not shringle. Oh yeah, shringle while his sharp claws are used for strappings. He will bite down on opponents and sh with his sharp teeth. He uses his seed to whip through flesh and break bones. Damn, this is brutal. And the poem pinned down some kills. His victims by crushing their faces with his oaths. Man, this might be a difficult fall. The trouble is how I'm gonna have Wintal fight Raijin. Like, I think they're both kinda. Wintal's an anti villain, so he probably won't pick up fight unless he wants to. This he's aggravated. My question, and he's got regeneration, so basically, 
what it says. He can basically regenerate limbs and stuff. He's very durable for us. He's extremely durable, being able to survive and resist even fire. He can barely use his. He can use his antlers as weapons. Despite being painful spoons, he will generate and heal from it. Hmm, cool. He's got a long tail, so he can basically use it as a weapon. And and as you can see in that picture I drew, I'm gonna try to use it as a weapon. He's gonna curl up the tail, and do you see that top pointy thing at the top? He's basically gonna turn his back and he's gonna bend down, and he's gonna sh use his tail at full force just to stab an opponent like that. He's gonna let his tail go and stab an opponent like that. It's actually a pretty cool attack. I can't move for myself. <laughs> Cause love you though. Please come up with that attack in, a pre in the next comic. A, a pointy tail attack or something. Just come up with a name. Spiral tail. Yeah. Spiral tail. S spiraling tail. Yeah. Spiraling tail attack. Yeah. I know that's not a, I know that's not a real ability, but it sounds like a cool ability that I made up. <laughs> fan fiction or fan fiction? Weather control. He's basically able to control weather. Mostly just cold weather. Size changing. He's able His size is either 6 to 3, meaning that he's taller than an average human and becoming about. It's taller than the average human. Or becoming about the size of a kaiju. So basically, whatever size the opponent is. So let's say my kaiju is like. But size is a legendary Godzilla. Or Hanna Barbera. Actually, I think my kaiju is like 125 meters. Is actually 400 and 400 feet. So, so Viagem will probably be the same size. He's got energy and DNA absorption. So basically, like Orca, he's able to absorb energy of other kaiju and use those abilities, but with a twist. Let me get to that twist. He uses his abilities, not only that he uses his, these abilities on other kaiju, but he's also able to go to a height of 666 meters. Let me put it like that. That is 1200. And if you don't know what 666, and 666 meters is, that is basically 1285 feet, 0 0.04 feet. 1285 feet. 1,285.04 feet. Yeah, that's pretty big. He'll break, he's basically like 200 feet tall, over like 300 feet tall than freaking Godzilla Earth. He will make Godzilla Earth look small. Jesus, he's huge. I don't know. Weaknesses. Fuck. That's one. He's not intelligent. He's his fisheries and savagery is sometimes his downfall. His enemies can be used against him. His most biggest weakness is his frozen heart. So basically, either he has a frozen heart. So I'm guessing it's basically made out of ice. In order to kill him, you have to. Use his frozen heart needs to be continuously sent. Oh, that might come to an advantage on my dragon. His sec doesn't. His sec doesn't mean we have a name, but it's similar to Olga's. But. Oh, so basically, remember when Olga ripped up, opened his mouth, and then just all unable to grab Godzilla and almost swallow him whole? Basically, similar to that, but. 
his claws also have tentacles coming out of them and is able to swallow the actual kaiju whole. And able to absorb the DNA and consume the kaiju. That might not be a great idea if in this case for this kaiju. Anyway, that out of the way, after 25 minutes of explaining the history, trying to sum up the best I can, <sighs> trying to sum up the best I can of freaking Wintel, Windowo. I'm calling it Windowo. Windowo's history. Windowo. Win. Win. Mentawa. 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 Mentira. Mentira. Win. Winty. 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 Mentira. Ability. Now let's get into the fight. Fight. I will make a story about Raijin. I'm not going to say what his origin and his abilities because that will be another 25 minutes. So anyway, let's get into the fight. I'm not sure how I'll set up this fight, so it's going to probably be in a cold environment. So when Tal, so Raijin will be in disadvantage. So he'll have to use his, he'll have to think this out. So let's say it takes place in the Arctic for some reason. Maybe you can say Vigen heads to the Arctic. Vigen heads to the Arctic and encounters Bintal after an exhibition that after a trip that Isabella goes on. Isabella runs from Vigen. Vigen sees Isabella and sees Mental and tries to save Isabella because he thinks Mental is trying to kill her. And then Vyagen makes it. And then Mental gets confused by this and tries to kill Vyagen. And that's what starts the fight. Isabella gets away safely, but Mental and Vyagen get into a fight. They exchange blows by fists. Vyagen gets seriously booty injured during this fight with Raijin using his claws, biting the thief, using his fast speed, using his tail, wrapping him around in a circle, and using that spiral, the, the spiraling tail attack with his pointy tip at the top, and stabbing Kuja repeatedly over and over again, wrapping around him stabbing him over and over again with his tail and then wrap and then he uses his tail he wraps around Vyagen no, there's a Kujo wraps around Vyagen uses his tail, wraps around Vyagen throws him around then all of a sudden Vyagen decides this is enough of it and he uses gets mad and uses his fire breath but when Tal also this is basically the fat set with his hand. It basically absorbs the fire breath and eats it and burps. It's like, Bleh. yeah, basically right there. <laughs> That's a funny moment. Anyway, Mental uses his atomic breath and fires it. Kun Jun sending him back into a nice morning or whatever. Whatever they call it. I think Great Shrooms or whatever. Majin gets booty attacked. Vaijin is basically down for the town and then and then light and then his lightning ability comes in. A red and yellow glow pops up and he tries to shoot at Vaijin but no fat. So Vaijin has to use fists and takes and sits Vaijin can't fly. He tries to grab not Vaijin. Oh my god. Mental tries to grab Mental and drop him from the air and try to do the same thing that no, does not do. But unable to defeat Mental. Vajan decides and then Mental tries to eat Mental. Try, Mental tries to eat Vajan whole, which is a bad idea for 
mental which is a bad idea for Vajan because he is swallowed and consumed by Tall. Tall goes wings and goes 665 meters tall and then spits out Vajan and Vajan looks up and sees how big he is and then Vajan grows to the same size basically a big old traditional Asian dragon and the fight continues basically shattering which the fight is so they change spells so loud that the entire world can hear it this battle lasts forever basically this battle lasts forever it lasts for days none of them seem to give up Vajan seems to lose his growing ability. One's out of time for his growing ability and turns back to normal size. Until he tries to step on Vajan, but then Vajan uses a brand new ability. He comes up with an idea to let Vajan eat him, go inside his heart, and grab his ice heart, pull it out, and then he decides to use his fire breath and burn it and burn it to ash and then swallow and then eat the ash so it can't regenerate and basically his heart is turned into ash. It's actually turned into dust or actually turned into nothingness. It's basically not even there. And then Vintal swings back to his normal size, basically the size of Vajan and towels down for the count. Yeah. <laughs> and so ends up dying and then and then Vajan sees Isabel and then walks away. Isabel goes to Vajan and cries, swearing that he swearing that she will get revenge on Vajan. Leaving on a cliffhanger. Yeah. So yeah. So Isabella basically so basically this episode this win goes to my gym. What do you expect? My yeah. Even though Wintal did put up a fight. We came down to smart, so I kinda you but I don't wanna get Godzilla read a mad, so here's an note and ending. Vajan basically goes to normal size. Remember when I said Vajan shrinks down? Well, let's just say Vajan steps on him and kills him. Cuts all his bones and then Vajan rolls around for the. That's basically the ultimate ending of Winter winning. I'm not sure which one I'll pick for the true ending. Um, you pick. Uh, because both of these monsters are very fat. I was pretty much 50 50 on this. I'm not sure who would win in this battle between Vajan and Winter. I'll probably have to go more in depth with Vajan before I can play. Make a decisive winner. I just did the alternate ending because I feel like it needed a second ending. But this fight really needed Vajan and Mental. If this fight was for real, I'm pretty sure this fight will never end. This fight will never end. It will keep on going forever. This battle will last for century. It will be so horrific that this battle literally destroyed the entire world. Basically, that. This is how. That's basically how powerful Mental is. That's how basically horrific this battle will be between Mental and Major. Yeah, I made it like way too overdramatic. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode will probably be Major versus Evil Godzilla. Spyro, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I'm using your kaiju. I, uh, I'm gonna try to use God some of, I'm gonna try to ask Godzilla Rito again if I can use some of his kaiju for this series, or maybe just come for my own kaiju and just have them fight Vajan. But that's, um, yeah, just have Vajan fight his own kaiju, I guess. But then have the Spinans Vajan origin. 
Or just take a break from this for a while. Or just wait for someone. I'll just do Evil Godzilla and then... And then do... And then figure out what to do next. Maybe have... Maybe like episode 4. Isabella makes... Manage to get the remains of Winto, make Mecha Winto, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, Zen Nikoji signing off, and remember, stay big, Godzilla fans. Stay big, G fans, for you, Chris.